Okay, another setup vlog time. The lighting's gonna suck. It really sucks in this room. But, remember this was our old office here? And the compressor just kicked on because we need it for probably what we're gonna do today. Um, this is now, this half of it is gonna be the new RTFM podcast set. So, you guys have been asking for our RTFM show to come back. We are bringing it back. This week, if everything goes according to plan. So I figured we'd take you guys along for the ride on how we're setting up the new podcast. Get your next gaming PC from Build Redux. Compare pricing to buying the parts yourself and stop overpaying. Pick your starting budget, see your estimated gaming performance, and then see your PC based on your choices. Plus, Redux offers a growing support hub to answer all your questions. And it's backed by a two-year parts and labor warranty, so you're covered. Pick your budget, pick your games, and get Build Redux. So this discompobulated half of the room is also going to be the makerspace with all the 3D printers. Now we do have another table that's going in here to make an L shape because we do also have a uh, Prusa Mark III. So we're going to be having three printers in here, all three different types, capable of different things. So this will kind of be like Nick's little zen area here to start creating stuff. You guys have been like, why did, why did you ditch all the 3D printing stuff? Well, remember right after we got the 3D printers and kind of going, we also flipped this whole place upside down. So. Um, Let's take a quick look at how the other office is kind of turning out. That way you can see why we're able to start focusing in this area. So this is the office side of the big room that we built. You can see we've got our couch and chairs and stuff here. You've seen kind of like this angle already in a video. You've seen this angle already in a video. Nick's desk, Phil's desk, my desk. Um, this half is where you guys have started seeing some of it. So the, re the recent video I did where I talked about AM5 was shooting this way. So you can kind of see the lighting effect and all that sort of stuff. Um, temporary light setup. Things are just really kind of discombobulated. Test bench area over here, which I told you guys is going to be our, our where we test our graphics cards and SSDs and things. We are using that, that uh, Asus build there that we did not that long ago. And I plan on having wires coming out of there, like fan cable wires, like RGB wire, um, you know, USB-C, like things that we can test on that system that are more representative of like a real world setup. So for instance, by having a real case on there, I can block off fans, I can block off airflow, we can test open chassis, we can test blocked off airflow, poor airflow, just to kind of see how things go. This half right here, as you can see, is still sort of undecided. I don't know what I'm gonna do over here. I kind of want to have this be an area where we can have a, like a TV console and whatnot set up so if we were to start doing TV reviews again. It's been a while since we've done TV reviews, but if we start doing it, we need a place to do that. And this might make sense for that, but I don't know yet. But today we don't care about this. We care about the other room. So the complicated thing is the fact that we have a, 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 a podcast with three people, right? Phil, Nick, and I. Um, the first podcast back, Nick's actually not going to be here. He's going to be at a wedding. So he's got to deal with Phil and I. But we have a square table. Now, if we were to get a proper podcast table, which is kind of like a Dorito shape, someone's back will be to the camera. So that doesn't work. So we stick with a square and I want to get a real podcasting table someday, which has the arm mounts and everything built into it and cable management all built into it. But for now, this is going to have to do. But it works because this conference table from Ikea, which we've had for four years now, five years, something like that, has this open tray area in the middle, which where there used to be a little under tray and a power strip, we removed that tray that way we could actually mount our arms and stuff there. But my complication with this set is the fact that in the fake room that we had, the table was kind of at a, a like it was canted or, or at, a, at an angle and I had a wall directly in front of me, which I was able to mount a TV to. And that's what we use for monitoring the podcast. I don't have that with this setup because over here on the other side of the room, which I showed you is open and has 3D printers. So I then had to deal with a monitor setup. For now, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna use this 24 inch Asus panel, which is really dusty. It's actually one of their high refresh rate gaming panels, but I'm gonna get a, a VESA arm that's gonna come over here at the side and will allow me to angle it like a 45 degree angle, nice and low, so it's not blocking any of the, uh, you know, the view of either myself or my view of being able to see Nick, because Nick was sitting to my right. So that's why it's on the right. I'm afraid if it's on the left, it might block a lot of fill because Phil sits a lot lower than Nick does. But if I can get this at a nice, like, you know, a nice low angle, kind of like, you know, this on the desk kind of a thing, then it would be nice. That's how a lot of podcasting live stream podcasts are set up with a smaller monitor, nice and low. I'm not going to take you guys along for the ride of like each little bit but we'll kind of show it in stages as we're getting this fixed up. I've got some lighting I got to do on this wall. We've got some sound treatment we got to do in here. We've got to get these shelves kind of figured out. Right now they're just got a bunch of random crap on there because we needed it out of the way. The live stream rig, which is right over there, which is an Origin PC build that we got a couple years ago, has literally not been touched 
since we stopped the RTFM show. It has literally done nothing except every now and then it would have heaven running on the big TV that you guys would see in the background of our videos. And then for the podcasting software and hardware, we are using the Rode Caster Pro for it. The nice thing about this is it allows us to actually have Bluetooth connection. So if we were to do a live phone call with someone, I can actually have a Bluetooth input, which can connect to my phone. So I can actually have people come in directly and then anyone talking on the mic can be heard on the phone and vice versa. Everyone can hear everyone on the phone, it works really well. Sample pads so that we have sounds that I never can remember which ones do what. So I end up trying to do a, like an applause and then I get a wah, 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 cause I pushed the wrong button, but whatever, it's all part of the show. Four individual mic inputs, which is perfect. So we only need three technically. Uh, each person has a, their own individual monitor so they can listen to themselves back on their headphones that way they're not screaming into the mic. And then we also have USB-C input um, and control with the PC. So any PC sounds I wanna play or videos or anything like that, you guys will hear the audio and so will we. So not a sponsor, I paid for this. It's like 500 bucks, I think. I got it at, um, it was either Amazon or Sam Ash, I can't remember. But if you're looking at doing a podcast where you have other people talking with you, this is perfect. In my opinion, not great for a solo stream, for something like Twitch, if you're just by yourself doing gaming, that would be better for like a GoXLR or something like that, which I use at home. So we gotta get this set up, we gotta get the PC set up, cable managed, mic arms installed, and table clean, because there's spots all over it, which I don't know why Nick didn't clean it when he put it together, but whatever, that's besides the point. Let's uh, let's see how far we can get today, because the show's supposed to start in two days. So for the back, I got these Govi RGB, I see. I see RGB, no, whatever. Um, floodlights that I can use. It's funny, Gobi's probably watching this video and going like, we've reached out to him so many times for sponsorship and he's never responded because I, I don't want to make a video about these even though I am right now. Um, I just don't want to do a sponsored video about these. I have no problems paying for it. But I do use these at home as part of my live stream. I have it all set up actually with IFTTT. That way I can use my stream deck to control my lights and stuff. So I might end up setting up an IFTTT in here. I might even set up, set up eventually some sort of an IFTTT where, um, I don't know, with Super Thanks or something like that, maybe it makes the lights and stuff in here do something. I don't know, I, I'm not, you guys know me, I'm not all about the pay to get noticed kind of a thing. But I'm just hoping these are bright enough because we're not gonna be using these overhead lights in here at all. They're far too harsh and stuff. We are gonna be using studio stands and lights that we can control the key light, but because we got this gray wall, we should see a pretty decent splash of color on there. So these have a very interesting connection. These are actually meant for outdoors, so they're all like wet listed or, or weighted, weighted, rated for moisture um, resistance. So that's why they have these O-rings on the connectors and these little, so these are actually meant for outdoors. And that's why I went with them because I was hoping that, that that means that they would be bright enough. Do you think you have enough Power cable Two wind. things. One, how are they not sued for like stealing the Google G for Govi? It looks very much, and it's, this is not an outdoor plug. But that's why they give you like 66 feet of cable. I was like, why are they four pins? Duh. Jay, you are as dumb as the audience thinks you are. Turn your turn your whole room into a computer case, basically. <laughs> yeah. That's what this feels like right now. Oh my god. All right. So that works, let's get the house lights back on. So now that that is set up, I need to get, what I wanna do I think, cause I don't want these just sort of floating back here. I still have some leftover wood from when I did that gamer RGB VR ready palette. So I think I'm gonna mount these to that board. See, this is why I always keep my scraps. Because now, I feel like I should just be painting this board black, but you can always undo it and, and paint it later. Then I can screw these down and then I can really control the angle that they're at. All right, well, there it is. It's pretty ghetto. The spacing isn't perfect, but it'll do. So now it's all one piece of wood that I could use to move around or mount where I want. I don't care that the wood isn't painted or, or stained because you're not gonna see it it's on the floor. So let's go get it in place. Laughing at the hard <laughs> So obviously not just decorations in this video. Um, we're back there. We need to obviously get this all wired up. If all goes according to plan, we should be ending this video with a little clip of what it's gonna look like, just like the first time we did the RTFM. But I think this time it's just gonna look better. 
Awesome. I hope so. This is uh, maybe about the same size area we had for it last time. It's just I feel like we have a lot more control with this one now because of the fact that there's no fake walls. <laughs> That's also kind of a downside because the fake walls are like, we wanted to mount something, we just went to the other side of the wall, drilled through, and then went to the side we wanted. You can't really do that on this one. So like this part right here is like hitting your chin. I got the booster seat. Actually, hold on, hold on. I have a perfect fix for this. There. Now he doesn't have to look at him. Problem solved. This is one of my favorite pieces of tech that I've ever bought. Just, it works so well. Like I said, it's not cheap by any means, but it was very professional in the sense that I was able to record direct to SD card or micro SD card while we're doing it. So, you know, when we were uploading to like Anchor FM and stuff, it was coming directly from that SD card. As long as I was able to keep a somewhat consistent start stop routine of like start stream, start record, intro, mute the mics, unmute the mics, I was really bad at it. I think out of like the, 15 episodes or however many episodes we did. I don't know. They're still up on the channel, obviously. I think I might have got it right like two or three times. And even then that might be an exaggeration. So the clamps are the clamps work. But I think this time, since this table's only been used for this, I think we're gonna clamp use the actual clamps on here. I don't think that this is going to there's no shock mount or anything built into this. Fortunately, the SM7B has an amazing built-in shock mount. If you've never actually seen inside of one, the capsule is suspended. So it's pretty neat looking. So the whole capsule is suspended in there. So that's why it's so good at rejecting sound. And it's got this screen plus the mesh over it. So this is one of the things that makes the SM7B so expensive. All right, so we think this worked. Actually, we didn't have to mount them down. Our clamps ended up working exactly where we wanted. So we have the, the arms mounted to the corners. That way, from the camera perspective, I won't be looking like this anymore, <laughs> you know? And then uh, Phil is free to the camera and Nick is free to the camera. So I think this is gonna work. So I've got the, the podcaster right here, got my monitor there. I have a wireless keyboard and mouse here and then it's all gonna run down to the computer which is under the table backwards. It should have been flipped around the other way, Nick, but that is fine. All right, everything's hooked up. Let's come around this side. The camera's not plugged in at the moment under the HDMI. Everything is working. It should have because everything has, nothing has been touched with this setup since the last time we used it and it's the exact same hardware. So nice thing is none of it had to be um, redone. And I went and put down one of my gaming mats here, um, jesusense.com, give me mat, 35 inches by 17 inches and whatever that is in millimeters and centicraps. But anyway, um, that way, because I have a mouse and keep that. I was trying to use just the table and it sucked. So anyway, there's that. It's all set up, all the mics work, everything's plugged in. I've got the mic cable separated from the power cable so they're not picking up any sort of RF interference, which is awesome. We just need to now figure out a few decorations for the front right here. We'll probably leave that for the actual show, which is taking place in just a couple of days so you guys have something to look forward to. I am planning on getting, because we do have the RTFM logo and stuff that we made, which is just a neat font. It has a little mic and stuff on it. I want to get that made in the sign that goes right here. And I'm not talking about like a vinyl decal. I mean like an actual like created sign that I can mount on here, which I think will look really cool. Um, my little board worked really well right here. I'm really happy with that. But this wall behind Phil, the audio is so good with the SM7B and its rejection. Kind of reminds me of high school. I'm just <laughs> Maybe. But I want to just go ahead and put our sound, sound panels up here real close together because it's just going to help with some of the reverb and such. And then technically, if I was to do more, I need them on that wall because that's the wall we're talking towards. And I do have base traps that I can put in the corners. It's the base traps that'll matter most against that wall. So I'm going to just be brad nailing them into the wall instead of using any of the um, double sided tape because it was falling off the wall. So I didn't above my desk because I ended up just putting a few brad nails in there. So let me get my level. We'll get those up on the wall. You might even hear an audio difference from that moment once those are up. And then we got to get some studio lights in here and then we'll wrap up this video. All right, so this is the way it kind of looks currently and sounds for you guys. I pushed wow. the right one yeah, for yeah. once. Wow. It's all coming back to you. Oh, no, he missed it again. Wow. No, I just was like, nobody cares. So that's why we're doing crickets. Wow. Just got to like reset the counter. Hey, I got to fix something real wow. quick.
there, I fixed it. So, <laughs> uh, as you can see, the road allows me to control volume with each individual person up in, like, Phil, talk. 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 So, we've actually got our compressor everything set up from the previous podcast. We're using the same mics, the same <laughs> layout. <laughs> sorry, I don't know why that was slip. I'm sorry. We got our, our Bluetooth uh, set up here. We got our system sound so we can hear windows. Let's see. See, we got our window sounds. Uh, we're ready to go. Now, obviously, we need a sign up here. I want a sign that show, says the RTFM show, just like what you see down in the lower left right there. And if anyone in at the SoCal area uh, is a sign maker and you can make us one that will fit here, we obviously will pay for it. Well, we need to get a sign up on that wall. That's that's my vision. So anyway, um, I know the previous setup probably looked a little bit more homey. Not like, what's up, homie, but like homely, <laughs> homie. <laughs> homely <laughs> with the wood wall and all that stuff and the window, but um, it's fine. The show's back, so it doesn't matter. We have to put some knick-knacky crap in the front of the table right there. Obviously, that camera and the rag won't be there, but we'll have a, something going on in the front of the table right there that makes it look a little bit more interesting. So anyway, that's that. That's that. If you guys are wanting to watch the show, it's going to be 3 p.m. Pacific time on Fridays, starting this Friday. So we made the show a little bit earlier because people were always concerned when we started our show at four that we overlap with WAN show. We don't want to overlap with WAN show. WAN show usually starts later now, like 5.30 or so Pacific time. So you guys get an intermission in between our show and WAN show. You have time to go take some, poops. Yep, get some snack, get some <laughs> more if, snacks. And if you're wondering why we're using the SM7Bs in these frameworks by Gatorworks arms, I just smacked my mic on accident and you guys didn't hear it. I just was like, Well, we heard that one. <laughs> why does it sound like? It sounded like a bongo drum. <laughs> it's a boink. I don't know why it did That's that. That's what the B in SM7B is, is bongo. bongo. See, I just hit mine too. Watch. You don't hear it. Look. <laughs> no, wait, let's not do that. What? I did. I did. A... Yeah, I saw it. <laughs> I'm turning red. Look at the color balance. It's going all crazy now. So anyway, if you're in SoCal and you're a sign maker, please reach out to us. Um, you can tweet me, email me, you know, jc sends at uh, gmail.com or whatever. And uh, like I said, we got some more stuff to do. We got to get some airflow going on in here. The sound panels are up on the wall over there, which made a huge difference um, in the, the reverb and stuff in here. And uh, that's that. So if you want to know what the show is all about, we talk about some tech stuff, but mostly it's just us hanging out on a Friday, wrapping up the week, sometimes with a drink, sometimes without interacting with you guys in the live chat and just kind of talking about whatever's on our mind. The reason why it's called the RTFM show is it stands for read the freaking manual. Anyone that's ever worked in support knows RTFM and what that means. It was either going to be RTFM or PEBCAC, both of the, and that stands for problem exists between keyboard and mouse um, chair. or keyboard and chair. Yeah. <laughs> it's that, this cable is the problem right there. So like it's leading to the problem. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> wait, you didn't get it. I got it. Anyway, this SM7B. is just, this is just kind of a little snippet of what the show is like. So if you guys want to watch it, feel free to uh, come and hang out. It will be right here on the YouTube main channel. No Twitch, no second channel, just right here. All right, guys. Thanks for watching today's vlog. We get this all set up and we are excited to bring it back. Although on Friday, Nick won't be here. Yeah. Uh, he'll, <laughs> he'll be at a wedding or at least a pre-wedding, pre -wedding, the pre-show, yeah. whatever that's called, the rehearsal dinner crap, whatever that is. I forget. So. The pra practice so you don't the practice yeah the, the dry practice. run practice wedding uh anyway, so it'll just be phil and i anyway thanks for hanging out today guys and we will see you in our next video and hopefully on friday